Hey, beautiful people. So I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about cars that basically say that you're pre-approved for or cars that even have the option that you can go ahead and get pre-approved for. So if this is your first time to my channel, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave your cash app down in the description so that I can go ahead and enter you into my $50 drawing that I'm having on the first of every month I have it. So go ahead and leave your cash app. And two, if my channel grow, 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 I'll be able to change that to a hundred dollars so again please let me know if you guys have any questions leave it down in the description below and then we'll just figure out what i need to do and i'll make a video for you now in this video at the end i'm going to tell you how you can actually get credit cards without them looking at your credit at all it's just you're pre-approved right you don't have to let them look you know, give them all your information in terms of, hey, see if I'm pre-approved. They say it's no, it's no credit check, but technically they kind of do check your credit. So it's going to be like more of a soft pull. If you want to not go through that process because maybe you do have bad credit, then at the end, I want to tell you how you can get credit cards without them even looking or even knowing that you got bad credit. So the first credit card here is Capital One. So Capital One has it so that you can go ahead and click here and then they'll let you know if you're pre-approved for a credit card. So it's no, it's no impact to your credit score. All you have to do is just Put in the information as if you're filling out an application, and then they'll let you know if you're pre-approved for it. So put your first and last name in, your date of birth, social security number, put your address in, your annual income, and they're going to ask you, do you have bank accounts? Don't forget, too, it's always best to have both checkings and savings, and that's something that they would like to know. That means that, hey, if I don't pay you, I have two accounts you can come take your money from. That's all that really means. And then to your appointment status, they like to know how you're getting your money in, just in case you don't pay them, they want to know. And then they want to know like your monthly rent or your mortgage and then your annual income so go ahead and fill out all this information and then check these two boxes if you go ahead and agree to what is here they have the, the privacy policies and then they have the electronic communication disclosure so you can go ahead and check both of these off after you read those two and see if you're pre-approved now, when I did this before, they told me automatically, like, hey, yeah, you'll be approved for this credit card. Usually, they basic credit cards. They'll let you know if they're approved for it. They do not try to rank you higher for, like, one of their most, you know, the best credit cards that they may have out there. It's usually just the basic ones that they'll try to see if they're approved. They can pre-approve you for them. So you can see that here. We only consider your eligibility for three credit cards, the Quicksilver, Platinum, and the Secured MasterCard. So these are like the bare, these are the ones at the bottom, like a 580 credit score, 550 credit score. Now, the next company that you could try is here. You can try Credit One Bank. So Credit One Bank has a two where you can see if you pre-qualify. So you can go ahead and click here and see if you pre-qualify. After you click here and say, see if you pre-qualify for them, you have to basically put that same information in that you put in for Capital One. You're going to put it in here and then click see offers. See card offers. After you click see card offers, then they'll go ahead and let you know, hey, you can possibly get this credit card, possibly get that credit card, and just go through the motions with them, and then they'll let you know which credit cards they can pre-qualify you for, and you can accept it, and they'll send it to you right away. Another company out there, this is before I tell you about the card, the credit cards, where they're not even going to check your credit. It don't even matter what your credit score is. Is the Discover credit card. Now, if you want to check with Discover, all you have to do is click here on check now. Now, Discover, a lot of people get the Discover credit card, but I see a lot of people, because my channel is mostly people that got bad credit. I want to help people fix their credit and build it up. A lot of times, people, they try to get these big, huge credit cards, and they don't know they need to start with the basic ones first. So a lot of people go with the secure credit card, but I see a lot of people with the secure credit card are not getting boosted to a regular credit card. So I, I don't know. I choose, I deal with Discover, you know, not as much, not as much. But if you want to see if you can get pre-approved pre for a Discover credit card, all you have to do is put in your information here. Let them know if you're a student. Let them know your gross annual income, you know, your monthly housing, the rent payment, your housing status, you know, whether you rent, own, or other. The bank accounts own, own. So again, they want to know what you have. Where is your money at? Just in case you don't pay. <laughs> they want to know your date of birth, your social security number, and then the benefits that you will want from the card and then to go ahead and read these here and then check the box if you agree or if you want them to go ahead and check now let's get into this now that we got that done 
I want to tell you about a credit card. Well, it's over 60 credit cards that you can do this with. It's called the shopping card trick. It's over 60 credit cards that you can do this with. And what they're going to do is they're going to actually pre-approve you without actually checking your credit score. So if you want to have this work for you, let me show you exactly how it works. And I'm going to show you all the way to the end where they get the offer saying, hey, you're pre-approved for a credit card. So what I want you to do is I want you to opt in. So make sure you opt in. So Factor Trust is like an alternative credit bill. It's a credit bureau. It's just like TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. So when you opt in, they're going to send your information to all the credit card companies, letting them know that you're trying to get a credit card with them. So go ahead and put your name, your first and last name in, your social security number, your date of birth, put your address in, and put your email in dress in and click confirm. After you do that, they're going to give your information to the credit card companies. Now, I want you to do a few things. I want you to go to the settings on your computer. So click these three dots, go to settings. And then I want you to type in pop here. So type in pop. Click right here where you see what's highlighted. Let me go back just in case. Where you see is highlighted, click here. Go out the bottom, pop pop ups and redirects. Usually you will see your computer here with you don't want you blocking the pop-ups. You know, block pop-ups are usually spam, so you want to go ahead and clear it. So I want you to allow the pop-ups. So go ahead and press the button to allow it. Now the next thing I want you to do is cancel this out and put pop-up again there. So put pop and then clear browsing data. So to clear your browsing data, what I want you to do is just click here on clear data. This is going to delete all the passwords and stuff out of your um, computer too, so keep that in mind in your autofill data. But this is the way that you have to go if you want to do the shopping cart trick. So go ahead and click clear data, and then I want you to open a new incognito window. So open a new incognito window, and the first website I want you to try it with is Victoria's Secrets. Now you don't have to get a credit card with Victoria's Secrets. The only reason why I tell you to try Victoria's Secrets is because it's an easy credit card that's going to let you know if you're pre-approved for credit. So go to Victoria's Secrets website, go to victoriasecrets.com forward slash US forward slash, and then go ahead and look up some items that you want to put into your card. Now, I want you to put $200 to $250 worth of items in your card. So I always hover over sleep, cami sets, and I get the same items. I, I literally do. And the point that we just got this pop-up means that everything is good. You're allowing pop-ups. So that's not the pop-up that I want you to get. I just want you to join their email, their email list. You don't have to do that. I want you to go ahead and click here. This is what I want to get. I usually just get four of these. So I'll get small. And then two, I'll get four of these. And then add to bag. So right now, our total is at $198. So I want to click check out. Now, I know that's not be, that $200 to $250 that I told you, but after they add the shipping cost, it will be. So don't add items that's right at that $249 because when they add the shipping, the shipping and the taxes, you're going to be over that mark. So make sure that you're you know at that $200 to $250 mark after the shipping and taxes is added. Now, remember we have to put that information into Factor Trust. That's the same exact information that I want you to put here. So what I want you to do is go ahead and fill out this application. I'm going to do it now. Um, it's not really an application. It is for us because we, we got plans, but I want you to fill this out here and make sure that you're putting your information in here, the same information that you put into Factor Trust. If you put different information in here, they're not going to know who you are to even let you know that you're pre-approved for a credit card. The point that you ask Factor Trust to send your information to them, that's basically letting them know that you want to get credit. So when you came across their site, like you want to buy something, that's why they're going to give you this pop-up that you're going to see on the next screen because they know you want to get credit and they want to give that credit to you. So make sure you fill this out. And I see a lot of people helping their spouse do it. One person couldn't do it for themselves, but they helped their spouse do it and they was able to get that credit card. So definitely this is a way to you be able to get credit cards, especially if your credit is bad and you want to just try to get your foot through the door with credit cards. So go ahead and make sure all the information that you put in is correct. And then go ahead and click continue to delivery. Now, this is the pop-up that's going to say, congratulations, you're pre-approved for the Victoria's Secret credit card. Now, remember, you're only getting this pre-approval because you opted in to factor trust. So this pre-approval is good for this credit card. What you're going to do is go ahead and pick the design that you want. So I always like to pick the pink card and click accept now. You can pick whichever one you want. I just love the pink one. <laughs> and then put your date of birth in and then put the last four days of your social. 
So go ahead and put your information in there. Scroll to the bottom, check the box if you agree to this. Go ahead and read that. And then click finish, submit for review. Now on the next screen, they're gonna let you know, hey, you, you got a $500 credit card with Victoria's Secrets. They'll let you know how much of a credit card you actually got. So that is how you do this trick. That is how you do this trick so that you can get that pre-approval for that credit card. Now keep this in mind, that is just, that is the pre-approval for that credit card. And if you go ahead and forget to opt in to factor trust, then you may not get that pop-up. So keep that in mind. So make sure you go to the factor trust website and you opt in. Now, if you get a pre-approved for that credit card, there's over 60 different credit cards that you can use. And I have a complete guide to those credit cards. So look down in the description and you'll be able to see the guide and you'll be able to get that guide and look at them and apply for those credit cards too. So all of those should give you that same pop-up. If you're not getting that pop-up, try to opt back in again. Make sure you're using the address that's on your Equifax credit report. That's something else that I want you to understand, the Equifax credit report. And then make sure that you're allowing those pop-ups. And make sure you do not have any fraud alerts on your credit report. So hopefully this was helpful to you. And I will talk to you later. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video, and drop a comment. Let me know how much you was approved for and which company you tried. Thank you.